hi guys i am back with another video today i will be giving you tips and tricks also i will be teaching you how to get instagram full screen on your galaxy z fold 2 5g All right, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start out with multi-window. Pull the little sidebar, and right here you see that it has YouTube and it has the internet together, clustered together. So we're gonna open that. Okay, so we're gonna play this video. So you have the video playing and then you have the comments you can comment and then you have the search bar of Google so you have those two open go here let's see I'm gonna do messages you put it here here or you can put it here let's put it there let's open another one let's see calculator same thing with that you can put it here 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 and you can also put it here let's minimize that okay so now, Instagram. Instagram will not do split screen for anything. Now, look at this. It takes up the whole window. Like, you cannot multitask with Instagram. Now, on the other hand, Samsung has figured it all out. They know what they're doing. They can make it full screen for Instagram. Normally, it wouldn't be, but they made it work with their system their good lock so i'm going to show you a little bit later how to actually get it to where you can multitask okay so i'm gonna go ahead and open up instagram just to show you that it takes over the whole screen but look at it look at its aspect ratio 16 by 9 and this is what it looks like so say like i go in the videos and i'm scrolling through different stuff see how small that is that's crazy. So I'm going to show you a few different tips and tricks. And as we're going, I'm going to show you how to make the aspect ratio of Instagram bigger. And I'm also going to show you how to make Instagram where you can multitask as well. Okay, so this is the part everybody's been waiting for. You go to the Galaxy store, you look up good luck. There you go. You have good lock, you download it. I already have it. Then these are the ones that I downloaded already. So I'm gonna show you some different customizations. I'm not gonna go through all the whole thing. If you want me to go through the whole thing, detail by detail, comment it down below. But anyway, you got Quick Star, which is for the notification status whatever you want to call it bar so for example say like I press this one I click that one that's the color it's gonna be I click that one that's the color it's gonna be I click that one and um, you can actually customize this to be exactly how you want it to be but if you want that like I said comment it down below and I will show you guys exactly how to do it but anyway, for now, I'm just gonna leave it there and it says the clock position, where you want your clock at. There's different things here. Okay, notification button, show notification, pop-up window, button and notification menu. You can swipe it and you can pause it or whatever, turn it off or however you wanna do it. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna do task changer. That's the view of your task. Okay, so you got stack view, which let's see what stack view looks like, like this. That's the one I have on now. Then you do list view. That's what list view looks like, like this. Okay. Grid. So what grid looks like, I'm gonna show you, like that. 
then you have carousel carousel let's see this is carousel that's kind of cute to me I like that carousel okay then you have slim list which it goes like this and you don't get to like see all your information that's in it it's just like this so you know what you've been looking at which is kind of cool then you have vertical stack which is like this which I kind of like that that's cool I think that's like the old school way but I'm gonna go with stack just like that I'm just leave it simple like that okay let's go back out of here then this is the one you mainly been waiting for multi star now they just updated this which is you know about your foldable and everything but I turned this on quick launch of multi window so you can use all the apps in multi window I turned that on enable multi window to all apps there you go right there then it has some other stuff that you can go in and you can customize and put in there but anyway so you go into I love galaxy foldable and you go in here and you want to turn on continue all apps on front screen you want to turn that one on so something I really really like is continue all apps on front screen vice versa so I'm playing this video and I decide oh I have somewhere I need to be I got somewhere I got to go and I want to take it and close it up so if I close it up like this it continues on the front screen now I also like the fact that you can get your notifications um, you can still do your little sidebar and everything like you can add other stuff like for example you want to so like you want to text and see picture in picture is still there still have picture in picture and you can text let's say I'm gonna text somebody let's see What's up? So it's it's pretty cool. I I can get the hang of it. A lot of people are saying, "Oh, that's too small to be typing on." I mean, you can do the, you know, swipe to type. So, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it is small, but I can get used to it. Swipe the type. You can do whatever. You can still do this while you are you have that going on. So, you see how it's in picture, picture in picture mode. You open it up, and it's still there. It's here, right here. And you can still play. So, whatever you're doing on the outside, you can do it on the inside. Or whatever you're doing on the inside, you can do it on the outside. Now, it, for the most part, comes like that, but it's some apps that act up that don't want to move to the front screen and to the back, you know, to the inside screen and stuff. So go back to the good lock and in the I love Galaxy Foldable. And then you want to go to this right here. It says continue all apps on front screen. When setting all apps, there may be apps that restart or do not work properly. And this is supposed to force it to work properly. So we'll see how that works. I mean, I've been doing it and it seems to be just fine. So we're going to use set aspect ratio for each app, which will cause Instagram to be bigger. We'll call it fill up the screen. Let's go to settings first so you'll see something. Now let's go to display. Now when you go down to full screen apps, choose which apps you want to use in full screen. Let's go there. Now you see all these, you can make full screen no matter what. For the most part, they already are, but if you had a problem, you can go in and just do it. Now, if you look at Instagram, what does it say? Can't change settings for this app, so you can't make it full screen. So if you go back to this, then you go to set aspect ratio. You can go and set the aspect ratio for any of these. 
Now, if you go to Instagram, it's set, all the rest of them are set on default. You go to Instagram, it's set at 16.9. You click on that and you can go here and you can change the size of Instagram. So I'm gonna put full screen. So now let's go to Instagram. Do I have Instagram up? Okay, so you see Instagram is up. So I'm gonna go to something. Let me turn down the volume so you don't hear it. But anyway, I'm gonna go to something on mine. And if you're scrolling through, see now it's full screen. It's full screen. Only thing people don't like about this, which is not a problem to me, is for example, you're looking right here, you see my name, right? You see the video. Now, if you're trying to see the whole video and you're trying to see the comments, you can't. But normally, if you look at Instagram, you can see the picture, the video here, you can see the comments, and you can see the person's name. That's not a big deal to me. You know, some people is gonna have a problem with any and everything, but I like it, so that's how you make Instagram full screen. All right, guys, give me a thumbs up on my video. Subscribe to my channel if you hadn't already. Subscribe to my other channel if you hadn't already. Make sure you check me out on social media and make sure you check out my shop. Make sure you click that bell for notification of my videos. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, be blessed. Anyway, enough of that stuff.